Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel Trouble Free. In this video, I am going to explain about security associations in the subject of cryptography and network security. So, in this video, I will explain you what are security associations and what are the parameters of security associations. Okay, And in the next video, I will explain you combining security associations. Got it? So, before that, I have also started a new channel with study abroad content if you are interested then i'll give the link of the channel in the description please have a look uh, so let us get into this video now first security association what do you mean by a security association before that what do you mean by security security you know protecting our system is called security then what is association association in the sense you are associating with somebody that is you are grouping up with somebody you are combining you are collaborating with someone like that right so in security associations which are also shortly represented as sa what we will be doing is a security association is a contract contract that is shared between all the entities before the start of the communication all the entities in the sense those who all are participating in the communication that is who will participate in the communication suppose you are sending a message from uh, mes message to your friend then you sender and in between you will have a network and then receiver right so all these whoever are participating in the communication with all those people a contract will be shared before the communication starts that is called a security association routers can be there gateways can be there anything can be there in the network okay with all those things the contract will be shared and this security association will specify the protocols to be used in the IPsec to ensure security. So what is IPsec? I have already explained in my previous videos. It is an internet protocol security, right? So what all protocols that you have to use in IPsec, that will be specified by the security association only. Got it? So this is about the security association. It is a contract which will specify the protocols which are to be used in the IPsec in order to ensure the security. And with whom all these things will be shared? With all the people who are participating in the communication. Not only people, it could be routers, it could be gateways, it could be anything like it could be a wired LAN or whatever it is. Whatever is participating in the communication for all those things, this contract will be shared. Okay, next. So what are the parameters of security associations? So we have seven parameters. I'll explain about each of them in detail. First, security parameter index, SPI. So I've already explained about SPI in my previous video where I've explained about authentication header, right? So it is to identify a particular security association of a packet. So of a particular packet the security association that is it is associated with which packet it is associated with uh, which packet in which with uh, you know through which algorithm or through which uh, uh, protocol all those will be all those will be there and in order to identify that we will be having a security parameter index for each packet then we have the security protocol identifier that is in ip security we have two protocols right we have the authentication header and we have the encapsulating security payload we have two authentication header or esp among these two protocols which is being used in that particular security association for that particular security association which we are using okay which uh, protocol we are using next is sequence number sequence number can be anywhere between 0 to 2 power 32 minus 1 this also i have explained in the previous video where i explained about the ip security next authentication header information that is nothing but you can also write it as ah sorry ah info authentication header info that is all the information related to the authentication header that is what are the protocols being used information in the sense what are the protocols being used and what are the algorithms being used and what are the keys being used all these information which is related to authentication header will be stored in the authentication header in information the same applies to ESP as well encapsulating security payload information what are protocols or what all algorithms or what all keys are being used in ESP those will be listed under the ESP info okay next lifetime of a um, security association that is nothing but up to how many days or up to how many months or up to how many minutes that particular security association is valid okay so this is valid up to okay um the page is actually cross i don't know whether i have written it cross or okay maybe i have written it as uh, cross okay let's let, leave it so lifetime of a security association is nothing but it is valid that particular security is valid up to how many days or how many the duration 
and next comes the important one which is the ipsec protocol mode so ip security protocol modes we have two modes actually one is the tunnel mode and the other is the transport mode so that also will be specified in the parameters of the security association i'll explain you what is transport mode and what is tunnel mode now so in transport mode what we will do is before starting about transport mode i'll tell you about the packet so initially this is how our packet is okay it will have a header and it will have the payload header is nothing but the initially you know the prior to that it will have all the data right and payload is nothing but the actual data okay so a packet will have both header and the payload okay so in transport mode what will happen is we will be encapsul uh, sorry encrypting both payload and header so okay header we are encrypting and payload also is being sorry 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 i'm really sorry in um, transport mode we are encrypting the payload but we are not encrypting the header okay but in case of tunnel mode we will be encrypting both of them and i'll tell about that also so payload is encrypted and header is not encrypted that means here is a packet right so in order to encrypt the payload what we will do is we will insert the ipsec header in between this is the normal header this is the ipsec header this is normal ip header this is ip security header don't get confused okay so we will be uh, uh, you know inserting the ip security header in between of both of these things so what this will do is this ip security header what it will do is whatever data is present after that whatever data is present after this that data only it will encrypt whatever data is present before this header before this ip security header it will not affect that data it will not do anything to that data okay that is why it is not doing anything to this ip header but it is encrypting this payload since this payload is after the ip security header got it so whenever you are inserting ip security header whatever data is there after that ip security header all that data will be encrypted whatever data is before that that data will not be affected okay so because of the that reason it is inserted here and payload is encrypted done so this is simple this is about the transport mode and in transport mode what will happen is direct host to host communication will be there okay if not host to host what kind of other communication is there is gateway to gateway communication i'll tell you that in the tunnel mode okay so direct to host to host that is the direct sender and receiver will be communicating with each other no person will be in between okay that is about the transport mode in transport mode what you have to remember payload is encrypted whereas header is not encrypted why header is not encrypted because ip security header is placed after the ip header got it next tunnel mode in tunnel mode both payload will be encrypted and also header will be encrypted so how do you encrypt it both of them that is the entire packet will be encrypted right so how you will be encrypting both of them is you have to place this ip security header before the ip header see here what you are doing after the ip header you have placed and because of that reason ip header is not being encrypted right but here what will happen is after the sorry before the ip header itself you have to place it so for the, because of that reason these two things for time being close this okay uh, again people will ask me why you why your nail polish is not proper see, see seriously people are commenting like that why your nail polish is not complete why your nail polish is not proper so what should i see okay so let us close this now ip security header is there right so after header what are there ip header is there and payload is there so these two things will be encrypted okay and since ip header is encrypted we have to request for another new ip header got it so this is about the tunnel mode and in tunnel mode gateway to gateway communication is done gateway to gateway communication means this gateway will be connected to the sender and this gateway will be connected to the receiver so first sender will send data to gateway and this gateway will send data through this gateway and here from to from there it will go to receiver so when i am explaining about the com combining security associations you'll understand it better no don't worry now so you got it what is tunnel mode and what is um, transport mode right in tunnel mode you'll be encrypting both header and payload whereas in trans transport mode you will encrypt only the payload got it this is about the uh, ip security modes so this is about the security parameters sorry security association parameters okay so that's all for this video let's meet up in the next coming video with i'll explain about combining security associations in the next video so let's meet up in the next coming video with another topic thanks for watching the video till the end